Welcome to my mini farm. Where I live in the country, I'm so lucky to be able to have an awesome hydroponic garden and loving animals that I raise. I just love my animals. They are a huge part of my family's life. Every morning I can't wait to see how many eggs I can gather up, how many vegetables and herbs I can pick. With my family's favorite recipes and my home cooking skills, I enjoy sharing what I've learned over the years with you. I'm also part of iFood.TV Networks. New shows every Wednesday. So welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking and today what I'm going to show you is how I pick my herbs from my garden and how I dry them out so that this way here I have homemade dry herbs. It's quick and it's easy and very inexpensive. So let's get started. On my counter I have my cutting board and these are the dry herbs that I picked from my garden. This is my basil. I'll be taking the basil off of the stem once I have all the basil off the stem, then I'll cut it up and I'll put it on my baking dish. I have my oven preheated at 350, and once all the basil is cut and on my baking dish, then I'll put it in my oven to dry out. Once I have my basil off of my stem, then I'll take my knife and I'll slice it. I'm making chopped basil and I'm also going to be leaving some basil leaves whole so that this way here I can use whole basil in my spaghetti sauce. In my baking pan, I'll be picking up my cut basil, fluff it around because you don't want them to stick together. You kind of want to keep it all separated. Now I'll be placing whole basil leaves on my bacon pan. I like to have whole basil and also cut up basil. So just take them off the stem and place them on your pan. Like I said, I have my oven hit preheated at 350. Once I put my baking dish in my oven, then I'll shut my oven off and just let these dry out. So just fluff up your cut up basil, making sure they're not sticking together. So it'll look like this. And then place it in your oven. Once it's in your oven, remember to shut off your oven because you just want to dry out your herbs. The next herb that I cut from my garden was my dill. So I'll be taking the dill off of the stem, just slide your fingers up and down the stem and it falls right off. I'll put the dill on my baking dish as well. Once I have all the dill off of the stems, I'll fluff it up in my baking dish because I want to make sure that air can circulate all around. And then I'll place that in my oven as well. Discard the stems. I love making my own herbs. Now that I'm all done with my dill, I fluffed it around. That's what it looks like, and I'll place this in my oven. Now that my oven is turned off, all I'm doing is wait for it to dry out, so just keep checking on it periodically. Remember, ovens vary. And these are the jars that I keep my herbs in. They're my canning jars. I just label them. My herbs are ready to come out of the oven. Here's my chopped basil and my whole basil leaves. I'll put it on top of my stove to cool before I place them in my canning jars for storage. And here's all my dill. I'll do the same with the dill. I'll let that cool off before I put them in my canning jars. See how quick and easy it is to make your own dried herbs? 
Thanks for tuning in to Home Cooking with Cheryl and watch me make the way I make my homemade dry herbs. Please follow me on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and especially iFood.tv. I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.